Hey, so uh, how's it going guys? This is Colin. Um, <laughs> I've been having some uh, extreme computer problems lately, so I unfortunately haven't been able to do a regular review capture like I previously am accustomed to doing. So what I'm doing today, I'm actually I'm recording with my webcam. I just thought I'd do a bit of a, just a bit of gameplay. Um, firstly to test how it's even going to turn out and secondly just to see if I could get a bit of feedback on uh, this new and clearly inferior um, fucking <laughs> uh, capture method. No doubt webcams were never designed for game capture and uh, this one is no exception. The webcam itself isn't terrible but uh, you know video games aren't exactly what it was designed for. That being said I thought I'd just play a little bit of Far Cry 2 today, just talk about the game a little bit. Um, so yeah, Far Cry 2, uh, developed by Ubisoft Montreal. Uh, you're basically thrust into the middle of a very, very bloody war in, in some uh, unnamed country in Africa. You're tasked with the job of looking for somebody called the Jackal, who is an arms dealer and he's a bit of a mystery man, but it seems that he's got this whole shit on lockdown, basically. Uh, he goes in and he grabs the, um, grabs the second hand or abandoned, etc. weapons from, from previous wars. Oh, look at that. Sploosh. He, he goes around and grabs these weapons and then he, then he finds these wars, inserts himself into the middle of the conflict, and you know makes his living like that so all the good people of the world say no we can't have that we can't have this person doing that so they pay you to go in find this motherfucker and kill him that's not going to be so easy though this is a well, well connected guy ok so let's see what I can do about these usurpers over here Boat's in better condition than mine, so I think I might just take theirs for a spin. Alright. So let's just have a quick look at our map, see what's going on in the wider scheme of things. Look, here I do, I, I ran all the way away from the bar, but there is actually a mission that they would have me do somebody down at the bar. So I might just turn this big ass barge around cruise into the marina and have a look and see what they want me to do. So the bar basically is your uh, is your stop where you know you can you can rest close by and you get your missions from different different buddies and your buddies are essentially other other mercenaries. This boat's not in the best condition at all in fact I might need to repair that ship. MacGyver the boat, no worries. Okay, sail back into the barge. So the draw distance isn't bad. It, it, it just happens to be a fairly foggy day, which is actually why the, the background's looking a little washed out at the moment. There are a whole different variety of atmospheric effects that are used. You know, rain, fog, hail and all the rest of it. And this is obviously just a bit of fog we've got at the moment. We get a lovely picturesque uh, waterfall here on the left. Now the getting around on sea, these these barges are a little bit slow and clunky, obviously, but there are some some smaller and more manageable boats you can use. Uh, the, getting around via the, the river tracks is actually is actually a quite a nice way to travel around the uh, country or the countryside more specifically, I don't think we've got a whole country to play around in. However, that being said, there is really a, a very, very large play area. So just to have a quick look at the uh, map at the moment, you can you can obviously adjust the, the different level of the map that you're looking at, um, you know, the map scale. And what we're looking at here, this is only, uh, this is only pretty much half of the playable area. There's another comparably large area 
right uh, above this. We're in the south at the moment. This is in Act 2 of the game, and basically the first act, you've got to clear out all the uh, conflict in the north, and then you head down south. So we've got an armory here, uh, a little lovely personal armory, as you saw me visiting before. Here we can stock up on, uh, on bullets, fuel, which is used in flamethrowers, etc., and explosives. I'm currently equipped with the M79 grenade launcher and the uh, AR-16 rifle. Both very, very useful weapons. The AR, the AR-16, obviously, it's got quite a nice zoom on it. Reasonably quiet uh, a bullet, or a fairly effective bullet suppression. So, if you're shooting at somebody just at the edge of your range, it's not going to be easy for the other enemies in the area to hear it. Quite useful. And the M79, affectionately known as the side launcher, simply because it's a, a sidearm and a launcher, yeah, it's just, it's good shit all around, really. Okay. <laughs> so let's go and have a bar, look in the bar, and see who wants us to do what. I want to talk to you. Okay, we've got Nassim of the fantastic figure. She wants she wants us to, to do something. There's a guy coming to the airport today, an arms dealer, here to make money, of course. Okay. To the vultures. They all are. They have no right. He's not the one fighting here, and we are. We should make a profit. I like the way she thinks. He'll be at the front of the airport waiting for his ride. Do me a favor, okay? Drive by and blow his head off. Right. I can't believe Drive you by. No you worries. Gun and then maybe I'll respect you. Yep. Look. That's not a problem. Nah, Nasim, Nasrin, whatever her name is. It is not a problem at all. We're quite happy to blow people's heads off in this game. So let's have a look, see where we need to get to. Okay. It looks like we can take... The, uh, the waterways, most of the way there, so we might do that again, the waterway being quite an effective way to travel. Alright. Let's go. So the actual soundtrack, um, mostly speaking, it, it's pretty much, it's pretty much a combination of, uh, sort of, tribal tribal type beats with uh, choral vocals string sounds and just it, 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 it's mostly mixed down to an ambient sort of level at certain points in time the music does pick up a little but for the most part the uh, the music plays a very a very very much a background role in the game look this lovely open expanse of water no impediments have a look. Okay, so we're going to want to head around up the coast here, no worries. Now, graphically speaking, the game is quite impressive. Um, not only does the terrain look like terrain, but there are lots of different, very convincing geographical features. Um, this bit of water here is certainly the largest expanse of water in the game. Most of the water sort of fall, follows sort of tight riverways. The roads themselves are in places uh, sensible, in, uh, in other places just a clusterfuck of a labyrinth and it's really a, a, a genuine puzzle, a genuine challenge to find your way from one location to another. Despite the excellent maps, okay? Oh, we've got company. No worries. Good old uh, AR-16. Actually, I might take their vehicle. People have played uh, the Call of Duty uh, games, particularly the Modern Warfare series. You'll be familiar with the uh, sort of auto aiming, quick scope type action, which and, and this this game basically uses a very similar uh, uh, gun. Uh, 
that must have been the dude I needed to kill. He just came straight out and tried to fight me. So that was pretty stupid on his behalf, really. Ouch, get a hint. Plane. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it, if I could jump in that plane and take off? I'm not. I don't think I can. <laughs> but that'd be pretty sweet. Okay, so I'm supposed to head back to the marina. Um, I think I might take the road back. I'll just check that plane. Pretty sure I can't fly. No, no. That's a pity. <laughs> anyway, um, the, the video's probably getting a little bit long in the tooth since I want to... Ah, oh, you bastard. Since I want to keep the uh, file size reasonably small, I'm getting shot at. So yeah, I apologise for the highly unstructured uh, review. It hasn't really been a review, just a little bit of talking shit and playing, which is which is fine. I'm hoping. So yeah. Uh, Give me, give me some feedback on the uh, inferior webcam footage. Tell me if uh, you think it's acceptable. I might end up just doing a few reviews this style with the, with the webcam and the plane, since it's just not feasible for me to use the capture software at the moment. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. Oh, motherfucker! Suck that. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the video. And uh, I'll see you later. Thanks.